Okay, this video we're going to build a really quick test environment with some collisions for using Blockbench for Godot 4. So I'm just going to create a new generic model and let's call it test level. I am just going to add just a plane to start with and let's make it 32 diameter so we've got a nice big solid area. And what I'm actually going to do is let's rename that coal because I want it to have a collider on it. Let's go and add a torus. I'm just going to use most of these as a default. Oh, that's a nice big environment, nice big environment as well. Let's make that a collider as well. And we'll just drag that up a little bit. So we've got a, a basic environment here. Let's add another torus that only has, say, 16 diameter. This time I'm going to rotate it round. So it's on its edge. And we're going to move it, not in local space, but in global. That one's also going to have a collider on it. And let's add a few other shapes as well. So I'm just going to add couple of pyramids but what I'm actually going to do is only one of these I'm going to set with a collider on so this one will not actually have a solid edge to it okay and let's put a cube on this as well Let's make it only eight and let's say five high. Pull that in and that's going to be have a collider. And let's actually duplicate that one. Stretch that one across. We are going to make it not quite as high. Move it up and let's make it a bit thinner as well. Okay, it's still too high. That'll do. Let's just bring that in. And we'll duplicate that one. Let's rotate it, say, 90 degrees. Not 90, just some other element. Angle. We'll move it out. And now we've got our first little wee environment. Then we sort of test. What could be quite useful is actually, let's say, build a little ramp up onto this. I'm just going to duplicate this one again, pull it out, rotate it. Actually, let's just do that differently. Down, across, let's rotate, I'm going to spin it down. Rotate a little bit more. So what's really nice about this is we can spend a fair bit of time actually getting our designs just how we want them. Uh, what we will do is I'm going to modify this. We're in our edit mode. We're currently on, let's change it to vertex editing. We can actually pick up each of these little dots or the vertices. So we can sort of go and customize our shapes however we want them to be modified. So we can actually get our own unique designs. 
So let's say pull this over towards us. And let's actually stretch out one of these points. So we've got our basic little test environment. We could go and paint and add animations onto this, but we're not going to worry about that because sometimes it might be easier to add those in at a later point. But everything that we want to have collisions on has the word col on the end. But this pyramid here, it doesn't. Let's actually paint a texture onto this one just so we know that that one doesn't actually have any collisions on it. So we'll save that. We'll just save that texture. Got our model saved. And what we're now going to do is export it as a GLTF, saving with the textures embedded, taking the animations if we've got them, exporting that, and we're going to go into our project. And let's make a new folder. Let's call this models, because that's what we're dealing with. And we've got our test level. So we've got our original test environment, which had originally just had a floor. What I actually want to do now, so I've got this one. So we can see our test levels here. We've still got this original floor. And what I'm actually going to do is just drag that into the environment. You can see my scale here was quite small. What I will actually also do. I'm actually just going to delete the original floor. Our player is still here, but the player is quite small. But let's actually just go and scale up our environment, maybe even up to scale 20. And we're going to press F5 to run. And the character, we've fallen down. We can see the shape, we can move up it because it's got a collider. This one here that's got the texture, we can actually go through it. It gets a bit crazy because there's some overlapping textures. And now we can actually move around all of those objects that had dot col on the end. So we now have our first very core of the level, which we can then go and use to test our environment or build and add other features to.